Welcome, my viewers from all over the world. May God bless you. Let us pray. Father, thank you because of this beautiful, wonderful evening that you've given unto us. Lord, Father, I pray that you may speak a word upon our life. Continue to uh, give us hope and give us direction in our lives. Whatever that is happening around us, Lord, Father, I pray that you may protect us, deliver us from all evil in the name of Jesus Christ. Every plan of the devil, let it not prevail over our lives in Jesus' name tonight. As I'm sharing your word, uh, Father, I pray for divine change and send a word that will uh, speak to somebody's heart in Jesus' mighty name. Father, use me as a vessel in Jesus' mighty name. We do pray and believe. Amen. Welcome, 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 my viewers. I'm so happy uh, to see you here tonight. And uh, I am ready to share with you the word of God. And um, I want to remind you that this world is so wicked. Uh, if we read the Bible in the book of Psalms 34, uh, verse number 15, the Bible says, The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous, and his ears are open to their cry. So when I am saying that the world is uh, so evil, it means that um, those who are righteous, those who are called by God, are those who are uh, securely uh, received Jesus Christ. Uh, they are always at war and there are some serious uh, spiritual battles and the world is wicked. The world is not a good place uh, for you to survive in. There are people who they are not happy about you, about your generation, about your children, about whatever that you are doing. They have an evil eye. When you start a church, uh, they fight you until you lose the church and when you lose the church, uh, they are happy I'm talking to you, child of God, because uh, this is the message for us tonight. Um, the world is wicked. The world is wicked. And who are the people in the world? Uh, who, who is the world? And what is the world? The world is not whatever that you are seeing, the animals, uh, the, 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 uh, the fish and the bird. The world is me and you. And uh, people are evil. In their heart, they are evil. Whatever they think, day in, day out, it is evil. And whatever that happens around, they cannot even help you even a single time. That is why Psalm 34, verse number 15, the Bible says, The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous and is evil are open to their cry. I prophesy to somebody here at night. May God protect you against evil people. In the book of Exodus 22 verse number 18, that you shall not suffer for a witch uh, to live. You shall not suffer for a witch uh, to live. And God told Gideon, that is in the book of Judges, uh, chapter number 6, verse number 25. And God told Gideon, uh, to break his father's altar and to raise uh, a godly altar. So that means there was wickedness in the family of Gideon. And Jesus looked at the people who wanted to crucify him and say, this is the generation of vipers. I am talking to you, child of God, because uh, you are not secure in the hands of people who are wicked. You are not secure into the in the hands of people who are practicing a uh, witchcraft, who are practicing magic, who are practicing uh, voodoo. And that is making a lot of people to be broken hearted. That is making a lot of people to suffer day in, day out. They are struggling. You don't know where to run or what to do. That is why in the book of Matthew, chapter number 11, verse number 28, the Bible says, Come to me, all of you who are heavy and uh, heavy laden, and I shall give you rest. Where you can find peace, it is only in the hands of God. And prophetically, God has sent me to you tonight um, to jog your mind and to open your eyes that the world is not a secure place uh, for you to entertain people who are using witchcraft and attacking your progress um, and you are smiling at them. You should not suffer for a witch to live. The plans of a witch, it is in the book of John 10, 10, and that is the work of the enemy, to kill, to steal, and to destroy. But Jesus came in order for us to have life and to have it in abundance. I am talking to you, child of God, tonight, because this is the message to the entire church. I am talking to you because I know uh, maybe you are full of debts, and the auctioneers are knocking at your door, and they are not even having a heart uh, to tell you uh, that um, uh, you just go and look for the money and then you shall pay us later. What they want is 
They just want you to evacuate from that house. They want you to get out of that place. They want you to samaga shopredia. I pray for God to protect you in the name of Jesus Christ. Who is that that is ready to receive the prophetic word? Psalm 34 verse number 18, the Bible says, The Lord is near to those who have a broken heart and save such as have contri uh, contrite a uh, spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but who can save them? It is only God who can save them. It is problem after problem, attacks after attacks, confusion after confusion, pain after pain. Yes, you have been struggling for long. It is time for you to have a break and relax and start to trust God again. Darling Linda, it is time for you to have a break and at least to have peace of mind. Edda Asika, it is uh, it is time for you now to have a break and to relax in your mind. Stephanie Gedes, it is time for you to relax. Put a break. The world is wicked. Each and every day we are consuming different kind of uh, toxic relationship. We are consuming a uh, different kind of toxic words, toxic things uh, that doesn't help us. I pray for God to settle your case in the name of Jesus Christ. Wherever you are, distance is not a barrier. Prospera Sarah, Benadetti Lisulo. Yes, you have been having a hard time. Ruth Shimui, you have been having a lot of cases around you. It is time for you to put a break, put some full stop there. And start to trust God for a divine change. And start to believe God again. People might pretend they are near to you, but in their heart, they are very far away from you. But when you call unto God, He comes closer to you. And He guides you. And He takes care of everything that you are passing through. He, he gives you and shows you the direction. We were talking yesterday about the power of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will come near you and you will now have something to tell people. You will have now a happy life and a joyful life. Now, stop living a fake life. Live an original life. Accept that you have missed. Yes, the world is wicked and maybe you don't want to do you did not want to do some certain kind of things. Let me just ask you this question before I continue. This is a lady who doesn't have a job and the lady has three children. The husband is not providing. And this lady wants the children to go to school. The husband is not providing. There is nobody who wants to hear what this lady is passing through. Now the lady decides to go and sleep with another person or another man so that they can get money. He starts to do prostitution so that they can get money to come and pay the school fees and provide food for the children. What made this woman to do that? It is because of the wicked, the wickedness. It is because of the evil that is surrounding her. When he calls one of the family members, they tell them, "You are. I don't have money right now. The world is wicked. I'm talking to you. They are full of judgment. Now, for example, uh, this woman goes to do the prostitution and then she gets pregnant. The same same people who refuse to give her money, they are the ones who will start to judge her and they will prepare war so that this woman can be thrown out. Am I communicating to somebody tonight? The world is wicked. We have been having isolation. We have been isolated for so many times. We have been isolated for locked down, locked in our houses. The church was closed so that we cannot pray together. And then they have pushed something in the realms of the spirit that we can be able now to get the vaccine. And this vaccine is 
for you now to move from point A to point B. For now, it is not compulsory. But there is a time that this thing will become compulsory. Now it is up to you. The world is wicked. The world is wicked. So the lady, that's why Jesus, there was a time they brought to him a woman who was caught in prostitution. And um, according to the rules of the Old Testament or the rules of Moses, the woman who is caught in adultery should be put to death, should be stoned and be put to death. And now this woman was brought to Jesus. And now Jesus asked them, if there is anyone who has not even done a sin since they were born, to be the first person to throw the stone. None of them threw the stone. They left the stone there and they went their way. So, there are people out here. The devil is using. They are called mysterious beings. The people who are killing our daughters, our sisters, our mothers. The people who are killing our brothers, our fathers. These are not humans. They are demons in human form. That is why I'm talking to you, child of God. That God, to protect you and your entire generation, so that wickedness will not knock at your door. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The devil is oppressing sickness on you. And when you go to the hospitals, the bills are so high. You sell that small portion of land that you have so that you can pay the bills of the hospital. And when you go back home, there is no place for you to sleep. Now you go and rent an apartment. And when you rent that apartment, you go out there to seek for a job. And the boss tells you, I will not give you this job unless you sleep with me. Then after you sleeping with this person, this person is HIV positive. I'm telling you, the world is wicked. <laughs> Or the boss says, I don't, have, I don't have a job for you. And when you get that job, they pay you late. Now the landlord doesn't want to hear you. The landlord doesn't want to hear that your boss is paying you at later time. The world is wicked. Men of God out there, the anointed one, they are fighting for their lives. Why? Because they are pressured and stressed. There is salvation, yes. God has ordained them, they are anointed. But there are some lack of resources and they are passing through a certain situations. If you are there and you are a servant of God, or you are a child of God, or you are a Christian, don't leave such a man of God in a, such a situation. Pray for him because, yes, he has, is anointed. He has a family to take care of. He has bills to pay. He has the church to run. You have to pray for him. But you see, if I tell you today, my church is destroyed or, or the church is, uh, uh, they are planning to bring it down because of the lack of paying rent or the church is closed. Instead of you helping or paying hand or supporting you are there now shouting to the world that Prophet Mema's church is closed down. In fact, you take photos and you post it on social media. We knew that he was not called. Yet this man of God he has been passing through Katala Bagando. The world is wicked. And that is why the Bible speaks about this very, very specific word. Those who trust in men, they are cast. Now I prophesy to you wherever you are. You will not trust in anybody unless you trust yourself and God alone. People are wicked. In their hearts, they are wicked. They will be smiling at you with their big belly smiling at you. But in their heart, they are casting you. So I want to remind you, child of God, the world is wicked. 
For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have an everlasting life. So it is up to us as church to believe. I'm looking for a bigger, better camera. And I want your full support. I want to buy I want to buy the church land and I want your full support. It is not bad for me to ask for your support. Because sometimes it becomes so heavy on my shoulder. But I want to remind you, child of God, we are on this world together. And we have to live with them. And we have to deal with these powers and evil forces. When we focus on God, when you trust in God, you are like a tree that is planted along the riverside. That doesn't mean that problems will not face you. But problems are there. The way you come out of that problem is the way that it matters. The way you come out of that issue is, this, is, is how you will be able to receive answers and protection over your life. So, child of God, I want you to prepare yourself because the grace of God on this altar is going to change your life forever. And the focus on what is right, focus on serving God. People will speak about it, whether you like it or not, whether you are rich or poor, people will speak about it. Let's say, for example, just uh, 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 overnight from uh, let's say from this night and then in the morning I wake up and I am a billionaire I've bought a big land and the construction starts on Monday then I go to the showroom I buy seven cars then I go to, to, to another showroom I buy a big lorry uh, for, 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 for the gospel I go to China or I order I order pulpit, the digital pulpit with the with the with the televisions and the LED TVs that will show up on the on the crusade. I go there back in China and buy some good sound system just overnight. It will be the talk of the town. This prophet is a devil worshiper, and maybe somebody have just decided to surprise me with ten billion. Now, how, how this world is wicked. That's why I want to remind the child of God. I see Esther Kanjo connecting with me from Cameroon. I pray for you. Every wickedness around you, may God neutralize them in Jesus' mighty name. That's why this battle is not ours. This battle belongs to God. We have enemies left, right, and center. We have enemies in our businesses. We have enemies in our churches. We have enemies in our in our in our in our in our in our homes. We have enemies even in the in the children's schools. You, your your daughter or your son or your child has done some exam. Then you find somebody come and ask your son, what grade did you get? That is wickedness. And when their child is in school, you don't even care about their grade. Which grade did you get? Which marks did you get? If you see somebody asking your child about that, please go and silence them. Don't be shy and don't be silent. Tell them to silence their mouth. You have never poke your nose on their businesses. But now they are poking their nose on your business. And they want to know. So that what the, the, the devil does not have any access of you unless you give them the access. They don't have information. So when your child says, I got, uh, I got, uh, I, I was number one or I was number two or I was number three. Now they know that this child is very wise and the star of this child is shining so it is time for us now to go and, the, and take away the star of this child and they will ask the child what is your name? then the, the, son, the son will tell I'm called I'm called uh, uh, Darlene Linda or I'm called Esther Kanjo or I'm called Bernadette Lissula then when they say they, say, they, they mention that name on their wicked altar now you ask yourself my child was because coming number one between number one and five but now he is in bottom five he's leading from behind 
not from the front. Now you are asking yourself, what is not happening? This world is wicked, oh. Now, that, that's why the Bible says in the book of Psalms 25, verse 1 and 2, To you, O Lord, I lift my soul. To you, O Lord, I lift my soul. O my God, I trust in you. Let me not be ashamed. Let not my enemies triumph over me. And don't tell me you don't have enemies because each one of us, we have enemies. Somebody who is not a graduate, somebody who you are not even, uh, you are not even talking with in that business or in that company, the person starts to speak evil about you, going behind your boss and saying, you know what, this woman, is, uh, she's doing this and that, this man, he's doing this and that, I want you to check on it. And then when your boss comes and check on it and truly maybe you, uh, you have done some small mistake just because of making that small mistake and the wickedness of that person you are sucked out of that job these are the wicked days and they are called perilous time people will be lovers of themselves people become very wicked as a man of god i've started a church and now members are joining me because of the prayers and the fasting that I am doing or that pastor is doing and then another pastor who is wicked starts to fight that pastor like for example for me they say that on my altar there are three snakes <laughs> and this snake is the one that gives me power to share the gospel but when I am on the mountain praying when I am on the mountain crying to God, they are not there. But when God lifts, when God releases the favor, now that favor becomes battle. But let me tell you, only God is your own salvation. It is only God who is your salvation. It is only God who is able now to deal with this wicked world. Do you know God regretted creating human beings? <laughs> God regretted creating human beings because the heart of human, it is full of deceit. It is full of wickedness. This beautiful evening child of God, I want to prophesy to you Stephanie Gedes prophetically because I see things around you. You, you love to be happy. You, you love to see things working. But there are people who don't want you to be where you are today. They are jealous. They are full of wicked. Sending you bad people around you. Using weapons to destroy you. Sending principalities to attack you and to diminish you and to pull you down. So that every time you make a step, you get frustrated. Every time you move, you get frustrated. I'm talking to my daughter, Stephanie Gedes. And sometimes you feel like now, I want to give up all. It's like God does not love me. He hates me. You have had so many prophets prophesying to you, speaking to you about your breakthroughs and your miracles. But it is not happening. Now you are giving up. But let me tell you, the world is wicked. It will not give you a reason to smile. It will always show you your, your shortcomings. But God who is merciful, God who is powerful, and God who is great, He has power to settle your case. May God bless the child of God, and may God keep you safe.
I pray for protection over your life, Stephanie Gedes. I pray for God to sustain you, give you more breakthrough, and give you more breakthrough in Jesus' mind. I'm telling you, people are wicked. You see, in the book of Genesis chapter number 6, the sons of God, whom they are called angels, came down on earth and saw beautiful women, the, the girls or the, uh, the, 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 the daughters of men. And they were very beautiful and decided to take them as wives. And they gave birth to Nephilims. And Nephilims are the children between angels and humans. And they had powers. And that was the root of every evil doing. Because that is where witchcraft started. That is where black magic, enchantment, spells started from these angels because they had their powers on how to operate. So they taught, they taught the children of men. And they, this, they, they, they were, there were those angels that were warriors. So they created weapons. They created weapons. They, they show men on how to make weapons, bombs and grenades. And the world became so wicked. And God regretted creating human beings. Now you are wondering, you are beautiful, you've just gotten into marriage, but the in-laws, they hate you for no reason. Because they wanted somebody else to get married in that family. So that they can get favors from that family. But now, you are married in that house. They are planning day in, day out to throw you out. I pray for you, child of God. No weapon of wickedness that shall be raised against you that will prosper in Jesus' mighty name. Mary Blinks, there are weapons that are created to diminish you and pull you and put you in one position. But God is faithful. Mary Blinks. God is merciful. And he is making a way for you. Where seems to be no way. In Jesus mighty name. And that is why. Continue to trust in him. In season and out of season. Whether you have money or not. Whether you are healthy or sick. Whether you are good or bad, whether you are having something, whether you are having some food in your house or not, continue to serve this God. People are wicked. They can even close your womb so that you cannot get a child and then they start mocking you. Esther Kanju are saying, true in my case. Now this is the time for you to, to, to put a break. This one week I want you to put a break. From Monday to Sunday, put a break. Don't care. Become a don't care Christian. From Monday, put your phone off or you can be able to just check on them. Don't even talk to them, just be silent. Then go and find peace. If you can go to a swimming pool, if you want, if you can go for vacation, if you can go anywhere, enjoy your life. This life is too short to stress yourself. This world is too short to fight battles that are irrelevant. This world is too short to pay attention to every dogs that are barking at you. This world is wicked. Don't care about them. It is not them that gave you life. It is God who gave you life. It is not their agenda. It is not their idea that you are alive today. In fact, where you are living today, it is not their strength. You are not, you are not breathing their air. Somebody calls you just to to quarrel with you and to speak evil words on you. 
Why should you give such a person time? Put some flight mode on your phone. Let them back, let them back wherever they are. Be happy. Celebrate every moment that God has given unto you. Trust in Him. Things will be better. You are getting out of that bad situation. You are getting out of that negative area. And God is taking care of everything that you are passing through. So, child of God, I want you to understand this. The world is wicked. They crucified Jesus. They crucified the owner of the world. Who are you? <laughs> if they rejected Jesus, who are you not to be rejected? The world is wicked. But don't pay attention to their wickedness. You know your heart. You know where you are going. You know the kind of vision that you have. You you know the kind of life that you are supposed to live. Then focus, plan. 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 plan and things will work out for your good. So I want us to join our heads together. I want us to join our faith together. And we have now to think like winners. We have now to start to think like people who are succeeding in this world. We have to plan ourselves very well because things that are going to happen in the next 10 years, there will be so many drastic changes. And if we don't plan now, we people will suffer because the world or people of God they are counting on you. This is not just a pastor's work. Through your testimony, through your testimony, people, other people will believe in God. But don't try to force them. Let them see what God will do in your life. The world is full of wickedness, oh. People are killing others like chicken. The way you slaughter chicken, that is how people are getting slaughtered out here. Yes, Willie Israel, you are saying, start think like a billionaire. Yes, that is the kind of faith that I want. This world is wicked. You have lost something which is very precious. And somebody tells you sorry. <laughs> uh, it is very serious. God help. You know, when you have something, they'll come closer to you. When you have money, they'll come closer to you because they want that money. When the money is out, when the money is out, when you are broke, you'll never see them. Because the world is wicked. When you have peace, they'll try to force themselves in your life, trying to show you things that are meaningless. When the peace is out, then they leave you alone, isolated. And those are the plans of the devil. So we have to plan fast and very drastic plan so that 
when the devil tries to strike you, we are aware. Our spiritual eyes are alert. Our spiritual understanding it is alert. Our antenna, it is speaking. It is speaking. Speaking, speaking their plans, their agenda. The world is wicked. They can even kill you all. Let me give you some testimony. It happened long time ago, back in, in Kitale, where I come from. That is my rural area. We went to a wedding. And because we are uh, we as people of the church, because by that time I was a sound technician, we were uh, we are having some sound system taken to a wedding, and uh, the pastor that I was under the, uh, the, uh, then, which was uh, which is uh, Pastor Moses wedding, I don't know if you see her. We went to a wedding, and in that wedding. Things were well, things were okay, until the time of eating. We ate very well in the, uh, is it a uh, uh, high table? We ate very well. <laughs> we ate some good meat. But little did we know is that it was poisoned. Reason being, there was another woman who was supposed to get married to this man. And the mother of this woman was seen in the area or in, in the kitchen when they were preparing the meat. So he put some poison on it. Let me tell you, we, we sang some song. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. I cannot even try to imagine it happening right now. Then after some time, they found out that we ate some poisons. They can poison because of marriage. They can poison you because of competition. They can kill you because of certain office in the government. The world is wicked. We had a running stomach for two days. When you drink water, it runs. When you take some food, it runs. But we thank God that we are still alive today and the agenda of the devil was not prevailed. God is merciful and God is faithful. If he protected me from poison, if he protected those who, who we, we were together with that poison, God who is merciful shall help you to overcome the challenges. As from today, love yourself first. Love yourself. Love who you are. Love the way you walk. Love the way you smile. Love the way you interact with people. Love. Just love you. And then after you loving you, you can be able now to share the love to others. Number one, love God. Number two, love yourself. And then number three, love others. Share the love. But don't allow. Don't allow anything to destroy your peace or to take away how you look at yourself. Some people here, they hate themselves. You are watching me, but you hate yourself. If you don't love yourself, who will love you? <laughs> That's why Psalm 32 verse 7, the Bible says, You are my hiding place. You shall preserve me from trouble. You shall surround me with songs of deliverance. Ah. God who is faithful and kind shall help you. Out. So let us plan. Very soon, uh, this Facebook, they will block men of God from preaching because it is everywhere in the Facebook where men of God are preaching. We have to plan ahead. 
We have to have our own satellite. We have to have our own internet. We have to have our own televisions so that we can be able to run the word of God in season and out of season. There will be no limitation. Let us have our own applications. Let us manufacture our own uh, phones, our own staffs. Because all these things, they are in the hands of men and women of God. But they are trying to limit. There are some countries that I cannot reach today because Facebook has cut me off from those countries. But we have to plan, we have to think ahead. And what we, what we have to do is to put resources together so that we prepare as early as it is before it is too late. And that is why the devil knows that when a child of God is rich, the kingdom of God is rich. When a child of God is powerful, the kingdom of God is powerful and he has no authority and power. That is why People of the world or the wicked people will gain more money in their evil ways. But you as a righteous person, you are struggling to get even food to put on your table. But we are going to turn tables. We are not going to bow down to any idol. We are not going to bow down on any idol or statue in order for us to have peace in this world. And it is up to us as children of God. If they decided to put Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, Daniel to the den of lion, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego on the fire, just because they did not want it to bow down to any statue. What about you? They will chase your children from school because they don't have vaccine. You, are, you, are, you, you are not vaccinated. They will tell the children to bring the papers of their parents whom they are vaccinated. But for me and you, we are not vaccinated. Now, they chase your children out of school. Reason being, you are not vaccinated. Not the money, not the school fees. You have already paid the school fees. You cannot travel from Kenya to South Africa. You cannot travel, travel from Kenya to America or America to Europe because you are not vaccinated. Being limited. But God is faithful. Thank you so much for paying attention uh, to this service tonight. May God bless you and keep you safe. But this service tonight was there to remind you that the world is wicked unless you have Jesus in you the wickedness of this world will try their level best to come in and put you down but as a child of God I want to remind you that you are not born of this world you are the salt. You are the light of this world. Go and make changes. God bless you. Father, thank you for that beautiful service that we've had tonight. I pray that God, King of glory, you may continue to guide us as by your word. Thank you for answering our prayers. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. To those places that it is daytime, have a blessed day. And to those places that it is nighttime, have a blessed night. And if you want to support this ministry, feel free to support this ministry. And God will bless you. Remember, I am Prophet Mema Hollison, or Apostle Mema Hollison, and I serve God with God's Nation Ministry, which is located in Kenya, Nairobi along thicker superhighway and very soon things are changing let us just plan plan slowly plan and god will bless you bye bye for now shalom shalom <laughs>